Hello advisors, today we're going to take a look at the student educational plan for students at Niagara County Community College. Once you're logged into DegreeWorks and you've selected your student, just go ahead and click on the plans tab. A dialog box is going to pop up asking you to create a plan. Go ahead and select a blank plan. We're going to go ahead and name this plan. In this case, we're going to use the student's first and last name for the plan and also their major. In this case, we're going to name it Student Test LAS Plan as this is a student test account. Now, what you want to do immediately is go ahead and check active and locked for the plan. By checking active, that makes it so the student can see it in their own plans tab in DegreeWorks. And then locked makes it so that this schedule and this course advisement you give to the student is available for them to just pull right into course scheduler to make it easier for course selection. Now, if you want to, you can leave these unchecked until you actually meet with the student and you can go in and you know, pre-fill out the advisement sheet here digitally, and then once they meet with you, then you can make it active and locked. That's another way you can do this as well, but I just want to explain it's not available for the student to see or to utilize in course scheduler until you check active and locked. So make sure you go ahead and do that. Now, once we have the name and active and locked, we need a term. So in this case, we're going to select fall 2019. And what I'm going to do for this student is I'm actually going to look first in the still needed section here to add courses. So again, I'm going to add courses to this fall 2019 term. As I add courses, these total credits will add up. Um, I'm going to go into the major in liberal arts and sciences, and this gives me all the categories that this student still needs. So let's say for this student, I was going to suggest Anthropology 102. I simply click on the class, drag it over to the Fall 2019 banner, and there I have Anthropology 102. I can see that it's three credits that automatically fills in, and if I click on the I, I'm able to see a description of Intro to Cultural Anthropology and also see that, yes, this course, in fact, is offered in Fall 2019. So that is a safe course to give a student. Okay. Now next I can scroll down and see that student needs an American history class. Let's say we discussed and they want to take History 122. Click and drag over. I want to double check that that course again is offered for that semester. And again we do have one um, section that is available for Fall 2019. Now if you notice since there's two classes in there the total credit hours adds up at the top. So it's just a nice handy um, addition area for you to see the total credits that you're giving to the student. Now, if you're looking in the still needed section for the major, this is a handy um, little note. You can click on refresh. And what this is going to do is look at anything that I have planned in here for the student. And now when I go back into major, you notice it starts me right off at natural science and it doesn't list the Western um, Civ or the history elective that that student had needed to complete. In this case, the student has elected Bio 136, so I'm going to click and drag that over. And I'm going to go click refresh just so I know that that natural science is taken care of go back into the major and it drops me off at the arts section. I could scroll down and see the student needs a humanities or foreign language course. Um, and it looks like they just need six credits in humanities or foreign language and one more in art. Um, so the student and I discussed and that student is going to take art 133. I'm going to click and drag that over and the student just wanted to take 12 credits this semester. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now you do have the option to add minimum grades in here. Let's say um, one of these courses you need to have a minimum grade in for your program here at NCCC or for transfer you know that student will need that course for their overall goal. You can actually change these to say that that student needs to get a minimum grade of a C um, in all of these courses as we know that C is needed for transfer. This isn't a required area to fill in but you could if you'd like to. Now, a couple questions you may have is where do I put the wrap number or what if I want to tell a student to take a certain course? You can go right up here on the top of the Fall 2019 banner, click on that little note icon, and you'll get a pop-up where you can click Add Note, 
and you have a word editor here where you can just type in, let's say the student's wrap number was one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's the wrap number. And maybe we discussed a specific um, section for the history class and the student should take CRN number um, one, two, three, four, five. So let's say that is specifically the information I want to give to the student. I could add any other notes in here if I'd like about transfer plans or um, anything else we discussed with the student. I'm gonna click done. And now you can see that there is a note on this term because there's three lines on that note. You can add a note to a specific course as well. Let's say on that specific course was where I wanted to add the CRN number. You could add it here as well and just um, type in whatever note you wanted to add to that course. Click done and now there's a note on that specific course. So I'm done with my semester advisement for that student. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now before I exit and know that I'm good with everything, I'm just going to click the audit button at the bottom right. And this is going to bring up a worksheet with the planned courses for the student listed in among the majors. So you can see that yes, the planned history, bi biology, and art class are counting. But let's take a look. It looks like that anthropology is just showing up um, down here for gen eds, but it's not really counting for um, what the student needs. So I probably am going to change over that course. So let me go back in. I'm going to close out. I'm going to take out this anthropology class and to remove a class, you just click on the banner here until it's blue. Click on the minus sign on the term. And now a different way to add a course, let's say I know taking a look at that audit that the student needed a humanities course, we talked about maybe taking a literature instead. I'm going to click on the plus sign, add a course, and I can just type in, let's say the student wanted to take Lit 213, um, and click anywhere out here, and it will add in Lit 213 with um, the three credits that's required. Now if I go in and click Audit, I'm going to scroll down and make sure I'm seeing all of those courses and perfect history, bio, art, and literature are all filling in in here for that student. And I can double check as well that the gen eds are still going to be complete for the student. Um, so this looks like a good advisement um, for that student. Everything is counting for the major. I would double check to click save since I have made some changes to this plan. And now I can take a look at the view that the student would see. Uh, up in here, you click on Edit and choose the drop down for Notes. And this is what basically is replacing the old paper course advisement worksheet. You can see any overall plan notes here, any term notes, which is where you might put where we want you to put the wrap number. And you can see maybe specific CRNs that are recommended in separate course notes here. Now I could easily print this out for the student. I'm going to get a print friendly view and if I click print at the top here I just choose my printer. Now a handy thing you can do is actually print to PDF. So instead of choosing your printer choose the PDF option and you could actually email this to a student. Now the student can also see this in their degree works in the plans tab as well. So that's what's nice about it is you don't have to worry about any lost worksheets. Um, Anything with student personal information getting lost in the hallway, because we've all seen those course advisement worksheets that just kind of get thrown over to the side. Um, and then this way we can ensure that both records and any other academic advisors can see that advisement that that student received. Um, so we don't have to worry about losing those sheets. Um, you can click OK, and if you were saving to a PDF, it would just prompt you to name it. Um, so, and it automatically will fill in student planner for and the student's last name, comma, first name. You just click save and now you have a PDF version of that that you could send to the student if you would like. Now, you are all set with advisement. You've made it active and locked for the student. You're all set to go um, 
once you've met with the student. They can see their wrap number in here. So again, you might wanna wait until you actually meet with the student to make it active and locked if you already have typed in the wrap number, or you can make it active and locked and wait until they meet with you to add the note of the wrap number. It's completely up to you. You already know how to advise. You're just learning how to utilize SEP today. If there's any questions, um, go ahead and contact Registration and Records in the fall semester um, as you're learning SEP um, new for the first time, and we would be more than happy to give you additional training on SEP. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and we look forward to having you uh, take a look at some of the other tutorials with more tips and tricks on how to use SEP. Thank you.